a life hack when vomiting, remembered that party when you drank seven wine bottles and nearly puked yourself to death to the point there was nothing left to puke except bile and you felt like all your inside just wanted to say hi to the whole world, that was a terrible incident that I don't want to experience ever again. But life goes on and you got to drink. So to ease up the vomiting process, drink some water beforehand. It does not make you stop vomiting all of a sudden, but it helps the puke come out more easily. It may lessen the pain or the burn you go through in your guts. I found this tip on my casual Reddit browsing Tuesday. The OP said this method would reduce the acidity of the vomit to the point that it didn't hurt or burn at all. One of the other Reddit fellows backed this up, saying it felt like a stomach wash, more gentle and cleaner for your puke. But be aware because the amount of water you drink would be the same amount that you throw up. Revenge Nude Pick Getaway Like it or not, Revenge Nude Pick is a thing in today's society. I get it. Sending nudes to your partners is fun. But what happens when you guys break up? No one knows if the other person accidentally or not sent your private pics to others. And yeah, nude pics spread like wildfire on the internet, be it TikTok or Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. So to protect yourself and have some deniability, Put a temporary tattoo on your body whenever you send the pics. This way, whatever is shared out there, that can't be you. Because, well, you don't have a tattoo there. You can spice things up a little by customizing the tattoo depending on to whom you send the pics. It may help you identify who's the source of the leak. This is called the canary trap method, like the one Tyrion Lannister used to figure out who was Queen Cersei's spy. Did you know you own your email name with or without dots? Even if you make a typo in your email name by adding dots or a plus at the end of your username, you will eventually get the sent email. For example, your email may be, I don't know, iamsuperdope at gmail.com. So you may typo it to i.am.superdope at gmail.com or even iamsuperdope plus even doper than you at gmail.com. The email will be redirected to the original email, which is iamsuperdope at gmail.com. This has been confirmed by Google. Just search dots don't matter in Gmail addresses. But what do I do with this information, you ask? Well, how about unlimited account creation on various sites that offers 50% discount for new users, like Hulu on a Black Friday promo? Just don't do it to Google. They know. If you don't want your kids to be picky eaters, introducing new food to children is often difficult for new parents. So, a helpful tip I have found on Reddit is to just put the new food, in small amount, on the plate, and leave it there for the kids to see without any mention. Eventually, curiosity will take the better of them, and they may try out the food. They may turn out to like the new food or not. But that's all right. The point is that they can make their own decisions and the meals may not become a battlefield where the parents try forcing the new food onto the kids. The science behind this is really interesting. Apparently, this comes from a generic survival trait that new foods are scary for fear of being poison. A child needs to have an impression on the new food on an average of seven times before it becomes friendly to the kids as the OP shared. I hope this new information make new parents feel less stressed when dining with your little toddlers. Ever got yourself in a situation where you need to run from someone in the woods? Or got yourself in a night chase? Well, one of the best tips I have found is to stop running and hide. Our eyes are more sensitive to movement during a chase. This was credited from an ex-Border Patrol officer on Reddit. He said staying still, hiding in brush and waiting was a much better bet. Even more wild if the pursuer is holding a flashlight. This will turn out to be more advantageous for the ones in hiding because in the dark, flashlights tend to cast long shadows, making it harder for the human eyes to recognize anyone. The tip is further seconded by lots of commenters. One even shared she successfully escaped a chase from two would-be rapists when she was young. She escaped their truck and was trying to hide. 
They shone the flashlight at where she was crouching, but never saw her. She was being extra alerted when hearing an engine sound on her way back. Thankfully, she was unharmed.